Hey guys, this is Craig Harris, head of the Nintendo DS channel at IGN, and today I'm going to give you the heads up on the just released Diddy Kong Racing for the Nintendo DS. Even though Microsoft now owns the development studio Rare, Nintendo still works with that studio for handheld related content, and Diddy Kong Racing DS marks the first Nintendo DS game from that team. The DS already has a kick-ass online kart racing game, so it's a little tough for another racing game to come out without trying to outdo Mario Kart. Diddy Kong Racing definitely has a lot going for it since it's not just racing karts, but also airplanes and hovercrafts. The three classes of vehicles are also different enough to really add a variety of the races, and luckily each style has been tweaked with decent control and challenging competition. Diddy Kong Racing puts a bit more focus on racing skill than Mario Kart does, um, at least in weapons, but there are a few weapons that you can utilize in Diddy Kong that'll help take out the competition. But there's no great equalizer weapon in like Mario Kart's Lightning Bolt, so if you can't keep up with the pack, you'll never catch up with some really off, unbalanced power-up. All of the racing in Diddy Kong Racing is attached to what's known as the Adventure Mode. Instead of jumping from race to race like in Mario Kart, you'll have to fly or drive from location to location in this huge overworld. Rare adds a lot of items to encourage a sense of discovery, like hiding hidden characters or rare coins that'll unlock new courses of modes, so that really works out to the game's advantage. This game is meant to be a remake of the classic N64 game released about a decade ago, but it's pretty obvious that Rare and Nintendo weren't satisfied with the simple port. So while the core racing engine's pretty much intact in the move from Nintendo 64 to the Nintendo DS, there's a lot more to it. But it's, it's a lot of the extras that are where things start to go wrong for the Nintendo DS version. There are some cool elements like uh, touchscreen boosts where you'll need to swipe the screen quickly to get a jump off the starting line. But then there are touchscreen challenges that are just flat out awful. There's one where you have to control your vehicle by drawing on the screen, or another where you have to pop balloons and collect coins in a first person's perspective. But these are just really, really bad, and the game would have been better without them. Diddy Kong Racing DS looks good and sounds great, uh, though it's not quite as, uh, as great looking as uh, Mario Kart, which came out a year earlier. But Rare definitely outdid Mario Kart in one area, multiplayer. Not only can you play uh, each track uh, with eight players locally with a single copy of the game, you can also go online and race up to five other people. The Nintendo Wi-Fi connection support is really, really great. Six players over the internet, and you can easily see which of your friends are online and ready to go. If some specific DS elements weren't so terrible, the game would have scored higher. But even with that said, the, the game still scored a 7.1 out of 10 in my written review. You can check that out by hitting the Nintendo DS section of IGN.com.